my loves. Thanks for joining the Smile Tarot, beautiful souls. How are you doing? Thanks for joining. My name's Lauren. Nice to meet you. For those that are new to the channel, my name's Lauren. Just smile, okay? This is going to be a collective reading, all right? We're going to see what's going on in the collective energy for just smile collective anyway. Remember, this message may not resonate with you, baby, and that's okay. Don't take it, okay? Don't receive something that ain't meant for you. Don't make your life complicated. Spirit, God, God, and heaven, universe, bless my dear collective at this time. Bless their health and wealth and the messages that they are going to receive. Thank you, Spirit. If you're not a believer, I still love you the same. What we got going on here? Do you ever wake up reaching out for me? Somebody's wanting to know if you are still interested. Somebody wants to know. They can't read you. They can't figure you out. Somebody might be having some type of, um, some type of, of epiphany here. Passionate and hot, yeah. Somebody's passionately ready to get rocked in the sheets with you, okay? I can't walk away from you codependent on you. Somebody's missing your energy, all right? They're needing your energy to thrive. They need your energy to feel some type of way to feel better about themselves, okay? So if it ain't you, if it ain't you, then they, they don't feel like anything angry at you. Somebody's angry because you done took yourself away from them. You done let your, you got your energy away. I ask people about you. Some of you have deactivated your Facebook accounts, okay? Facebook, whatever it is that you be online about. Somebody that can come and look at your business. They can't look at it anymore and they're angry. They feel angry because you don't walk, they can't walk away from you as you walked away from them. I don't think it could have caused this separation shocked. Yeah, somebody's shocked here at a situation. Um pertaining to you leaving something behind okay they're passionate about you they wonder do you ever reach out for them do you ever call, do you ever wake up in nightmares or cold sweats somebody's having cold sweats here i don't know where i'm getting that from unhappy liar and gossip somebody that's unhappy they lie they gossip about you okay they need to know whatever it is that you're doing they need to know about it third party situation gone bad all right, a third a third, third party situation went the wrong direction. It took a turn that somebody didn't expect it to take. Okay, and now somebody wants to sit here and they want to blame you, but they're still passionately hot about you, hot at you, but they also are angry. Okay, and let me tell you something with that combination. That combination's cute and all for some people. Some people might like that shit, but I think that it's very, very much a uh, very childish, like very teenage attitude energy. Okay, somebody wants to take out their anger on you passionately through some type of sexual way. Okay, because they're unhappy, they lie, they gossip, and everything that they're doing or what they built to destroy you or to bring you down has not worked. Okay, they're codependent on you. They're angry at you at this time because they have to ask people about you. They're not able to get to your business. You block this person off or you've either just deactivated some social media i just don't i feel like deactivation i made mistakes big mistakes triple mistakes regrets okay now to me i feel like my dear collected that something here turned into what might have been a mistake at one point it has literally turned into someone's choice it's a choice that the, this motherfucker is making now don't let them try to sell you mcdonald's and say that it's motherfucking red lobster no because it's not it's not. The real deal here is that somebody here is doing some shady ass shit, okay, to try to get back in your energy. And they're angry right now. They're angry at you. They're pissed off. They're unhappy. They're a liar. They gossip. And this person is expecting to, to, to open up the gates of beauty, okay? To open up the gates of, uh, of you know, um, having things go in their favor and having wish fulfillment and things like that. Um, I think the fuck not. I think the fuck not. Spirit, what we got going on here for my dear collective? What's going on for my dear collective at this time, Spirit? What do they need to know? What is it that you like, dear collective, to know, Spirit? Okay? I feel a lot of you are in high vibes. A lot of you are doing so well moving forward. Okay? I don't know why. Some of you have discovered that this person was a false twin. Okay? Some of you are starting to figure that out. This person only comes in when it's only, it's when it's only convenient for them. Okay, they start asking around about you and things like that. This is a continuous pattern that happens quite often. They always think a third party situation is going to be better and it always turns out bad for them. If you're not seeing this now, my dear collective, as a lesson, please take it as such. Somebody that's angry at you and passionate and hot about you is not something to be excited about. Somebody could actually try to use some type of knife play or something. I would not, uh-uh. I would not do that. Somebody's like taking energy and things that have happened to them in their childhood and taking it out on you, okay? Because they see how nice and comfortable and sweet you are. Yeah, six of wands. Somebody's on the outside looking in. Somebody's on the outside looking in on your success and they need to ask about you. And when they ask about you, they don't like what they hear. Somebody's upset about it. The hermit in the reverse. Because they don't know how to let, they don't know how to leave, they don't know how to leave people alone. 
They need everybody to know what they're doing. They need somebody. They need, always need people around them. This is somebody that has a bunch of people around them that's fake as fuck, just like they are. Fake as fuck. We got Virgo energy here. Leo, Aries, Sag. Okay, Queen of Cups in the reverse. Very manipulative in, in energy, okay? Very manipulative energy. This person will come to you and play nice. They come in every time playing nice and shit, knowing that they're very well deep down inside. They're angry. At the same time, they're passionately angry. So they're hot for you. They're hot between the sheets, and they do everything they can to try to take their anger out on you. This person has some type of mental issue. Some mental issues, okay? They have to be around a bunch of people, okay, to feel some type of way to feel powerful, all right? The Queen of Cups in the reverse to me is like somebody that actually uses their emotion, your emotions against you, all right? Somebody sees that you are in the Six of Wands, you're successful, they want to piggyback off that energy. They're angry because you're successful. Somebody can't walk away because they're codependent on you. They're codependent on your energy, what you provide, what you give is something of the essence, it's something that, you know, makes them feel powerful, being able to have control and dominance over that, all right? Yeah, somebody here is just a liar and they gossip. Now it's time for you to open your eyes and see. Yeah, seven of swords. It's time for you to open your eyes and see how sneaky a motherfucker is, okay? They'll come in and they'll try to rob your motherfucking house if they can. All right? Behind your damn back. It's like somebody that actually breaks into your home and you're knocked out sleep. And spirit's trying to wake you up to let you know somebody's in your house. Well, this person doesn't want you to see their face, so they make sure you stay asleep. They only rob you when you're sleeping, when you're not paying no attention, when you think everything's good and great, and you're cozy and feeling well, and you're at your vulnerable state, meaning getting getting some rest, starting to feel good about yourself, you know, about to get a good night's rest to start the next day. Somebody's sneaking around your energy, okay? They're coming back in to be nice, to play nurturing, to play caring and kind, but they got a lot of people around them. This person cannot stand to be alone could be a water sign or a virgo okay but whoever the fuck they are they cannot stand to be alone somebody here can't keep, keep saying that, they, that somebody's been told uh some of you've been told collectively that somebody here's your twin yeah the king of pentacles in the reverse the king of pentacles in the reverse we have the king of pentacles now here in the reverse okay somebody's upset because they see you doing well they see you being successful when they hear about you it's all good things they can't hear anything bad about you okay a lot of you it took you some time to move away from this pain this was a very painful situation for you but it's because you let this situation keep going you have to take accountability for the, the part you take in this understand that somebody that comes in and out your life it don't mean that they're your twin flame no it don't mean that, you know, oh, we were, we were, we were past lives, so we got to deal with it in this life. No, the fuck you don't. Break the contract. I don't give a fuck what nobody says about it. You, you, you're not going to go to, you spirit's not going to put you in behind some spiritual jail because you decide to take care of yourself and stay away from somebody that's toxic. Somebody's toxic. They're codependent on you. They're angry with you. They get upset when things, when third party situations don't go right. They, they tend to make something, they blame it on you. Somebody likes to switch the narrative. They like to make it seem like, well, if you did better, or if you didn't do this, then I wouldn't have had to do, fuck all that. King of, King of uh, Pentacles in the reverse here, they can't be trusted. They can't be trusted. They'll steal from you, and they'll do whatever they can to make sure they take whatever it is that, they, that you have. They like to chase after clout. They're very hungry for it. They like to bounce off of other people's names, okay? They love to be in the arms of somebody that has a good name going for themselves just because they like the attention. Somebody here can't stay to themselves. They're very unwise, very immature. Okay, I'm seeing that with this uh, hermit energy here. Four swords in the reverse. They don't rest very well. This is the type of person that has a lot of people in their circle. And the problem with that is, is that they have a lot of people in their circle. This person starts a lot of shit too. This person starts a lot of shit too. They're not very loyal. They're not very loyal at all. They don't give you loyalty. They don't even give themselves loyalty, okay? They come in with some fake ass type of intentions of, I wanna love you and nurture you. I wanna do this and that, okay? And then once things start going wrong, all right? Or when, when work has to really start get, when things start having to get sent into high gear. What I mean by that is, <clears throat> it's somebody that needs to like, you know, put in the work, they run. Okay, eight of cups in the reverse. They want you to come back. They'll be, they'll be willing to do anything to get you to, to turn around, to come back to them, or to turn everything around. It doesn't have to be a specific person or to change things around for the better. Because whatever it was, you stopped emotionally investing in it. You got tired of emotionally investing, okay? And it's about time that you take your power back. It's time for you to take your power back for good. Make it official. Make it official. Stop. Some of you, I'm leading led to tell you, stop listening to Twin Flame Connection readings. 
okay? You're actually in a, a very abusive cycle. That is for some of you. You're in an abusive cycle and you're seeing it as a twin flame and stuff. That's the, it's intense and, you know, I, I can't stop thinking about it. This person's abusing you. They're abusing you. Page of Cups in the upright. And now they want to come in with the Page of Cups of sorry energy. Sorry, please come back. I'll make it work. The same old lot of da 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 da, -da bullshit that they've done before. But they're sneaky as shit. They cannot be trusted. The Seven of Swords. They can't be trusted. The Seven of Swords is looking towards the Queen of Cups in the reverse and the Hermit in the reverse. This person sits around a bunch of people and they talk about you. Whether they're with you or away from you. When they're away from you, you're being successful. You're doing good. You're doing, you're doing your life. You're doing your life. Okay, you're doing you. You feel good. You you know your things are going in your favor. All right, things are going in your favor here. And somebody likes to be sneaky, and they like to sit around a bunch of people and give them the tea about what's going on in your life. You're that important, collective, whether you believe it or not. You think these people have something else better to do with their time, but they they boring. Okay, somebody wants you to be sick. Somebody wants you to be mentally ill. Somebody wants you to be sick over them. Yeah, nine of pentacles. Why? Because you're in this nine of pentacles. You're very, you're very successful. Here they are being in this king of pentacles in the reverse. This is not what you want. This is not what you want. We have a queen of cups here in the reverse. And we have a king of pentacles here in the reverse. I feel like this is the same energy. And if it's not the same energy, it's some people in inside some type of circle. Okay? It's a circle of people. All right, that really wanted to see your downfall. Okay, you would think, why would these people sit around? Yeah, people are that miserable with their lives, and this person's not. This person ain't exempt. They're not. They're not taken away from that. They're 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 in the same fucking boat. Somebody here has a bunch of anger issues. I don't know why I'm getting that. And here with this, sorry, it's a sneaky one. It's a it's a, it's a hidden something's hidden under this person's sleeve that you're not seeing. Okay. For many of you, you might be asking me, should you go back? No, you should not go back. Some of you are about, this person's about to reach out to you. Because your you're being in this Nine of Pentacles is not fun. This, is, this doesn't make this person look good. It makes them look bad. It shows that you're able to, be, you're able to do life without them. And they want to make it seem like that you can. Nine of the, I mean, Seven of Pentacles here. All right, after the Nine of Pentacles. You've been really patient with somebody here. You were patient in trying to show them your your um, <clears throat> your individuality. You try to prove it to someone. It's time to stop doing that. This is not going to grow. Okay, the Empress in the reverse. This will not grow. This will not go anywhere. It will not. It'll stay stagnant. Temperance in the reverse. Because someone here is not balanced. Okay, four wands in the reverse. This won't be a happy connection. Okay, false twin energy. That's what I'm feeling here. I just feel like somebody's being told, this is your twin, this is your twin. And then you get excited, you get hopeful to hear something back from this person. But really what it's doing is an abusive cycle that's being kept open. Okay? Page of Pentacles in the reverse here. They have nothing to offer you. So now it's time for you to be in this Ace of Cups energy. Okay? Time to be this Ace of Cups energy. Loving yourself, being independent while somebody else sits in the Nine of Swords. Alright? Because you avoided a tower. All right, and closed out this cycle. The tower's in the reverse, and the world is in the upright. Okay? You have you have escaped from something here. The ten of wands in the reverse. You gave up holding on to somebody else's burdens. You said, I can't do it. I got to take care of myself. And you'd be damn right. You'd be damn right. Don't let somebody take a shit on you twice. Do you get what I'm saying? Say what the fuck you want. Trigger warning, whatever the fuck it is. If you can't take it, then just get the fuck off the channel. Don't let somebody take a shit on you twice. Literally. Like, somebody here just has fun. They have fun doing it. And this, these, when you're not around this individual, when you're just by yourself, okay, or when you're away from them, when you're disconnect, they start talking a lot of shit about how, how you know, you're probably doing something to get the to get attention and, um, you know, you think you're better than everybody. No. These, these, there's some individuals here that are big mad. I don't know why I feel they're big mad at your independence. They don't like it that you're in the Six of Wands and this Nine of Pentacles. It is bothering some the shit out of somebody. And at the same time, it makes somebody feel passionately hot but angry at you. Because you're not taking them along with you. You haven't called this person up. Hey, come be a part of my independence. What? Excuse me? No. <laughs> come be a part of what I've got going on. No. Yeah, Three of Swords in Reverse. No. I've healed from you. What the fuck are you doing in my life? What are you doing back here? What do you want? Somebody just wants to keep, yeah, strength in reverse. Somebody feels insecure because you have healed. You have healed and became independent, and they don't think that that's right. They don't think you deserve that independence. Wow. Fucking amazing. You never get, I never get surprised from these readings. It's crazy. 
It's crazy to me. <laughs> It's crazy to me. Somebody does want to come in and they want to offer an apology, but I bet it's a half-assed apology. It's just because of the simple fact you walked away and somebody doesn't like that. They want to reverse the whole entire situation. They want to start over their antics. They want to start over their fucking being sneaky, being very, very strategic. They want to come up with a different plan because why? Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups. Somebody here is a bit selfish. They don't see themselves thinking about what's greater for everybody involved. They think about what's greater for me. I don't want to look stupid in front of these people I can't let go of. I don't want to look stupid. I have to be around all these people to feel important. I have to be around all this and that to feel important. No. You don't need to be around a bunch of people to, to be important. What the fuck? Have some self-dignity. Have some self-respect. And keep moving forward, my dear collective. All right? Yes, you may do as you please. You don't have to take any information I'm saying, but you're too good for this shit. You truly are. And somebody's staying stuck in your energy because they're hoping that you're going to be like, oh, that puppy. No, no, this ain't no puppy. This is a grown ass motherfucking person that wants to piggyback off your success, your independence. They're not able to rest unless they're doing it. They can't rest unless they're pleasing everybody else around them. And but this, but what's really sad is that that the the people around them they're trying to please does not include you. It does not include you. It starts off very sweet. It starts off in a great, great, amazing way, and then suddenly it's just it turns to shit. Yeah, Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups. It's time to give that love to yourself. It's time to give you. It's it's time to start moving forward. Okay, a lot of you are feeling stuck, but you're very successful, very successful. Somebody wants to project some shit onto you because they feel insecure. Their life isn't going as greatly as they thought it was going to go. So now they're angry with you and they want you to feel somebody here likes to be angry with you because it makes you feel sorry for them and it makes you give up everything you have. But baby, this is just karma, balance and justice. It's just the spirit bringing in balance. That's what this is. It's spirit bringing in balance. Something that used to hurt you so badly is not able to hurt you anymore unless you allow it to. And I think a lot of you are moving forward and doing better with your lives. You're starting to understand that. Look, I'm the shit. Whatever business that you wanted to start, start that business. Stop fucking seeing people as a twin flame every time something bad go, goes on. It gives, it gives an excuse for many for toxic behavior to be acceptable. Okay, and I know people like the thrill of toxicity until your ass has your heart on the floor and it's being stepped on and you have tears coming down your face that just keep coming down like a fucking water slide. You're not going to understand that this, this twin flame and shit's not fun. It's not fun and it's not something to be excited about. Somebody's like telling you that I don't know what, where you're getting this information from, from most of you collective, but some of you are being given the wrong information here. You really are. Somebody keeps doing this. It's like something that they keep doing. Once they see you in the present moment, happy, abundant, and thankful to your angels and guides for all the blessings that you have, here they come with some bullshit. Giving yourself that self-love, giving that self-respect, nine of pentacles, being very self-sufficient, and someone comes along with some bullshit. Oh, wow. Um, I'm, I'm sorry. You know, everything I did, you know, I just wasn't in the right space. And, you know, they made me do it. You know, it, it wasn't me that did that. They, they came on to me. Stop falling for that fucking bullshit. Okay? Let this motherfucker go. I'm going to tell y'all as I see it. Let they ass go. What? Y'all afraid to be alone? Just because you alone don't mean you lonely. Like, come on. No. Those are the most part. Those are the most beautiful parts of that somebody should follow. Yeah. Somebody's pride and ego. Okay, I, I look too good to be begging for anything. They're going to come back to me. I, you know, this and that. They're angry at you right now because you have not come back. But they passionately want to have sex with you. Okay, they're down to do the dirty with that. About They're down to do the dirtiness about that because they see a name for you. Be careful. Somebody could be trying to get you pregnant or somebody's going to try to get you to get them pregnant because they like the name that you've made for yourself. They like the success you've made for yourself. Okay. I'm seeing that all over here. The sorry is just the worst piece of shit to me. I don't care if it isn't upright. It's a it's a piece of shit sorry. All right. It's like wow. Um. Fuck. I fucked myself over. Um. Now I see you're very independent. You're very successful. And now um. You know I you know I didn't know this was gonna cause to be separated. I was I would have never let that happen. This person's lying to you. There's a third party that went awry. It didn't go the way they wanted it to go. And they're so codependent on you, they're angry because they didn't think this was going to cause a separation. 
They didn't think it was going to cause a separation. They didn't think you were going to grow. They didn't think you were going to make something work out for yourself. Well, I'm telling you right now, you are growing. You are thriving. And if you're not hearing it from anybody else, hear it from me. I'm fucking proud of you. I'm proud of you. Okay? This Ace of Cups, too. This Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio you might be dealing with. There might be new love on the horizon. And it's going to be your good karma, your good justice coming in. All right? Contracts, careers, commitments. Somebody's stuck in something. While you're giving yourself love, they're stuck inside some type of connection or some type of bullshit that they don't want to be in. It's burdening them. Yeah, at the bottom of the deck, we have the de deception and temptation. Somebody just wants to be deceptive. They want to come in like that seven of swords with the page of cups underneath it. It's a fake ass sorry. Stop listening to everything you hear, okay? Stop listening to everything you hear. Shit, don't even listen to me if you don't fucking want to. But I'm telling you, somebody's doing this shit on purpose. It's just a way for them to keep... Somebody looks up twin flame internet information on Google. Somebody does a lot of Googling here. I don't know why I feel that. Okay? And they want to try to impress... They want to try to bring up some type of twin flame or we're divinely meant to be. And this is how... It, love is not supposed to hurt. Somebody's not supposed to be angry at you because you move forward and you do better. Okay, I understand a little bit of jealousy, but someone that's going to love you is going to set you free. And they're going to let you be you. They're going to let you be happy. They're not going to keep coming in with some sneaky ass sorries and bullshit like that. They're not going to be sitting there trying to feed you McDonald's and tell you it's fucking Red Lobster or that it's motherfucking Olive Garden. And you sitting there chewing on fries. Wake the fuck up. Okay, wake up. This is, this is, not, this is not what you think it is. This is all bullshit. Yeah, separation and longing. Okay, you're separated from them and now they're longing for you because now they see you getting the good justice that you deserve, the good karma that you deserve, that self-love that they've been trying to keep you from giving yourself because their ego wants to take over. They want control over everything. Okay, but that's not how that's supposed to work. Spirit is saying, open your eyes, open your eyes to what the hell's going on here. Spirit won't force you to do it, but you need to figure it out. Yeah, know your self-worth. Know your self-worth. Stop expecting things from people. That's the problem. A lot of people put high expectations on motherfucking people. And that, pe let me tell you, people will disappoint you every time. Put them up there on that high pedestal. Go on ahead and do it. As soon as you turn your back and they end up coming down and stabbing you, you know what I'm saying, in the back of your back with a big-ass, long-ass knife, you have nobody but to blame but yourself. You put high expectations on somebody that doesn't need to be, they, they, they don't even, you, you shouldn't even expect them to actually clean their own body. They won't even wash their own body. Do you see what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. You put up high expectations as if somebody's successful and shit, and it blows their fucking head up. Their ego gets huge as shit, okay? And then what you really want to do is, that, what you really need to do is start looking at your self-worth here. Start knowing who the fuck you are. I'm unfuckable with, and I'm not going to sit here, and I'm not going to let, I'm not going to let it go for nobody. My stability, harmony, and flow means too much to me, Okay? Because it's like as soon as you hit that, that peak to where your self-worth is and your expectations of people are lowered and you start knowing what to expect from that self instead of somebody else that just can't. They half-ass you. They half-ass you. They half-love you. They half-give you everything. And somebody wants to stamp, put a stamp on that saying twin flame. Fuck no. No. No, 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 no. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Collective, I used to be in a situation where I thought somebody was my twin. Your situation is my situation. My situation is your situation. But this might be somebody that needs to hear it. I thought somebody was my twin flame. My twin flame literally grabbed me by the neck and picked me up and threw me up against, had me up against the wall, off my fucking feet for at least seven seconds. I just remember trying to get myself, my life supply back to breathe. And this motherfucker I thought was my twin was actually taking my life away from me by their own hand. They were upset. They were trying to make a point towards me. Nobody should have to treat you like that. Nobody should have to treat you in any kind of capacity or way or shape or form of inviting other people into a connection that's meant to be with you and that person only alone. No. They shouldn't be able to keep coming in and out your life and making these decisions. Well, you know, yeah, I want to be with you. You know, I really have learned a lesson. I, I really do understand things this time. Well, hmm. That piece of ass over there looks pretty nice. I wonder what it do. No. <laughs> and I know we're not perfect, but God dang. Somebody treats you like that, it's just like they come in and out. They come in and out. And it gets to a point to where you start drifting away from this person that, that they start being concerned about you. Then they start projecting energy onto you. Then they start really wanting to think about you heavy. 
okay? But in the moments, in the dark moments and things like that, when you're by yourself and you're picking up snot up off your teeth or your face and trying to get yourself together and present yourself as if you're a human again and that you're doing really well and that you're very successful and you feel very valued, you know damn well what's going on. Somebody yet again comes in to step all over you. Uh-uh. Yeah. Stay in this ace of earth. Could be towards Virgo Capricorn. Could be dealing with one or could be one yourself. Stay in that energy, baby. Stay in that flow. Okay? Could be a masculine you're dealing with that doesn't like your stability. Okay? And somebody here from the past that made you feel like you were suffering. Made you feel lack there, lack of. Okay? They were closed off, guarded from you. Didn't want to share no emotions or anything. All right? Just left you in confusion. Limited, limited beliefs. Leaving you inside some type of energy to where you feel like you're the one that's doing the wrong. This person just does you wrong. Period. Nobody likes to talk about that dark side. They don't like to talk about that darkness of that twin shit, okay? Uh, I'm sorry. I just, I don't, I don't feel twin here. I don't feel twin. I get kind of some uh, emails, like, you know, here and there, people, you know, sending me links and stuff to look at twin flame videos to try to change my perspective on them. I still don't. I think they're bullshit. I truly do. And I know my situation doesn't mean it's for everybody. It's not everybody else's situation that they're going through. But let me tell you one thing. How can someone that truly wants to be with you and love you? I know we're not perfect. I get that. But how could somebody want to do those things to you? When there's come somebody you're probably just pushing away. You keep pushing people away because you swear that your twin flame is in the 5D, in the 5D prepared for you, but in the 3D just not ready yet, hasn't caught up yet. So you stop your life. You stop your life and just sit there and keep it on pause, basically in, 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 the, in love, because you think or believe someone's telling you, look, this person is confused about the connect. Motherfucker, if you confused about me loving you and wanting me to have the best for you and you just wanted to be faithful to me, wanting to build together, wanting the commitment, you still feel like you got to get out there and let juices flow and stuff, you're not for me. I'm not going to babysit a grown-ass motherfucker. And I don't think you should either, Collective. I think you need to get over that shit for real. That's like a fairy tale, but except adults are following that shit. Grow up. Grow the fuck up. Seriously. There's someone out there that will be willing to give you everything that you desire. This ace of water here with this ace of earth. That could be new energy coming in. But then nine times out of ten, some of you will throw that away because you feel like somebody's your divine counterpart. And they made you feel, they made you feel shitty. That's what they do when they're around you. They make you feel shitty. But now that you're not in this person's energy, they see you being successful. They see you making a name for yourself. And they want to come piggyback off of you until you go broke. Until they suck all your energy away from you. And then they're going to go find the next. That's a twin. That's what you want. That's what you really want to believe. You want to believe that? That that person that keeps keeping you stuck. Okay? Keeps your face in your hands. Making you feel unworthy. And then you sit there and you're, and you're being left with this feeling like I'm not good enough. Yes, the fuck you are. Yes, you are. You're better. That's the problem. And they see that's the problem. You're better than them. And they don't want to see that. They want to tear you down. Because that makes them feel powerful. They know you'll fold. No more. No more. No more folding your envelope for other people. Keep that motherfucker pristine, clean, pressed, and nice. Because there ain't no telling who's going to come in to fill that space. And if nobody's feeling that space right now and you say, well, I'm alone, don't mean you have to take shitty treatment or shitty behavior, okay, from a twin. Look in the fucking mirror. You are your twin. Wash your twin's face. Take care of your twin right there in the mirror. I don't give a fuck if it is a reflection of yourself. That is somebody you're looking at. Look at your skin and look right on the, look on, right on the mirror and it's doing the same thing. God made mirrors for a reason. People say that mirrors are like uh, hidden portals and things like that. Baby, then look at yourself and love you. Give yourself the love and all that admiration and stuff you've given somebody else that just clearly doesn't fucking deserve it. Because they want to have angry sex and they make mistakes. No, these ain't mistakes. These are choices. That's what they turn into. And then this person wants to know if you reach out for them because they need to know if you're still you know, indecisive, if you're still feeling like you need to be with them, if you want to crave them or something. It's something fucking weird here, bro. And it's happened with a lot of people. It's happened with a lot of people. And it makes me angry because I don't like people being stuck. 
A lot of people will tell you that somebody's your twin to keep you fucking stuck, keep you addicted to coming back to something that's really just not meant. Well, they start talking to you again. Hell yeah, they start talking to you again. You successful. You doing good without them. And this person's so damn selfish, they want to make sure you're not doing good. And when you are, they're angry at the fucking bullshit that they sat there and thought was better than you. So then they have this reach out. Oh, I'm so shocked. I, I didn't know this would cause a separation. You damn skippy. You better twin your ass out my motherfucking dough. That's what you better twin step, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Twin it. Bye. Start loving you. Start loving yourself. Stop putting blockages up for true love and true healing because you wait for somebody to come back and fuck your life up yet once again. No, I'm not being dramatic. I'm telling the fucking truth. And this energy, it pisses me off because it's annoying. It's like, how do people accept behavior like this? How do they go on with life? That's my twin. Mm-hmm. Show is. Yep, that's my twin. Oh, the fire. The fire's so hot. I can't, I can't stay away. What? Until they bring you back an STD. Until they bring you back different energies towards you that they've been dealing with on the outs while you guys have not been around each other, while you guys have been in separation, or while you guys have just been plainly just trying to move on with your lives. And then somebody's like, well, there's a convenient fuck to fuck with or somebody that's just going to let me run over their boundaries anyways. I'll go back to that. Whatever I got to do, I'll act. I'll do whatever I can. I guess I've changed. I made the necessary changes. I've done the necessary healing. I see. Oh, yeah, I see the light now. There it is. There, there it is. There it is, the light. Yeah. Until it all starts all over again. Somebody has a stinky-ass apology. Their ego is too blown the fuck up. Okay. Their pride... Their pride and envy. I feel like somebody's so prideful, they're envious of you. They're, they're so prideful. They don't like you having your self-worth. Spirit says it. Aim higher, baby. Aim higher than this bullshit. The fuck you doing? Why are you, shoot, why are you shooting blanks? Like, who... Who, why, why are you shooting blanks for your, for, for your, for the wish fulfillment that you've been asking for, okay, that you truly want in this life, a companion, a partner, a lover, a partnership? Why in the fuck would you want to be around somebody that wants to be around a bold, whole bunch of people all the time to feel like that, to give them self-worth? Why? Aim higher. Aim higher. Yeah. Stability. Stability. Aim higher for stability. Aim higher so you can get that peacefulness. It's going to be peaceful where you're going. Shit, you ain't going to have to be bothered by somebody that's fake as fuck. Wanting to constantly have shit up their sleeve. Yeah, time is money. It's showing the motherfucker is. You ain't got time in the world to be sitting around while somebody keeps using you. Or trying to come back and forth when third parties' situations don't go right. All they want to do is bring in conflict and tension. Because then they know damn well that you got some, you got some income and love. <laughs> Confirmation. Somebody brings you conflicts and shit because suddenly they see you have income and love. Something that's worth being with. Something that's worth actually being around. Something that's going to give you some type of peace of mind. Aim higher. You see this guy? Aiming towards the sky? Aim higher. The fuck you shooting at the ground for? I can't I can't understand. I'm trying to make... I'm try, trying to make sense of this. I, I truly am. No, no sense are coming to me. I just don't feel what the fuck's going on. When you are who you are... Why would you stoop this low? Why? Why would you need to? Somebody that's just going to mistreat you, misuse you, take you for granted, and until they find something else naughty or fun or has a name or has some type of um, nice car or something, there's something about somebody here that's just not all put together. And they put you down because they see how strong you are. Your strength is like, it's over the top, beautiful. And they have to sit there and they want to mimic it so bad, but they cannot. Because they're empty. They're hollow within. That's not you. That's them. And then you put up this hollow person up on the motherfucking pedestal. Or you put them up on this beautiful shelf like they is a motherfucking trophy. Trust me, they put, you, they put you on the lower bottom shelf. And they take you down when they get ready. By the time they come back around, you collecting dust all over yourself. They got to <sighs> decorate it and shit and kind of shine it up and stuff. Now it looks pretty. Mm, this one's kind of boring. Is there like a bigger trophy somewhere? No. No. You are the shit. And you and, and some. Yeah, afflicting pain. 
Somebody likes to do that to you. Aim higher. Aim higher. Get out of this shit. Yeah, sidetracked. And then, then you're sidetracked. And you're like, well, what the fuck? Yeah, at the bottom of the deck, conjuring, plans, brewing. Somebody plans on coming in and playing you yet again. Period, point blank. It's black and white. It's here. There is no in-between. There is no in-between. Well, you know, they just, you know, decided to, you know, see things in a different light. Yeah, I get, I, I, I get that. Everybody has their own, you know, situations. Everybody has their own thing going on in their life. But why do you have to stoop low because somebody else doesn't want to grow up? Why? Why do you have to take the precautions? Why, why do you have to take? Why do you have to take the, the, the hard way? You know, being left behind, or you just walking away from somebody because you just get plain sick and tired of feeling doubt, feeling fearful, feeling limited. Does, does do any of you just ever go back to feeling or knowing what that person put you through before, and you think it's going to get better? It's hard to believe that a lot of people out here believe that they have all these twin flames and what they're really dealing with is abusive situations. Again, I know my situation was not your situation. I get that. But that's going to be a memory in my mind. It doesn't make me sad. It makes me feel great because it woke me up. People kept telling me this is your twin flame, you know, and this and that. And I felt this tense connection. Like it was just crazy. No, it was just because I was horny. <laughs> that's what it was I was lonely I was lonely and I needed somebody I needed somebody to fill the blanks in and what I wanted somebody to do was to come in and fill in the blank of who I used to think that they were okay what I wanted to believe from the beginning when I met that person I want to go back to that time I don't want to go back to when they fucked up fucked me over no 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 I don't want to go back to that I want to go back to the time where and be me being honest I'm just going to be honest I want to go back to that same person okay that, that did not screw me over. I kept trying to get back that high. You know, that high of feeling good. That high of knowing this person's got my back. That high of them being there for me. It was like an adrenaline rush. And then I kept, like, dealing with situations of them being in and out. You know, things like that. He had never put his hands on me except that one time. So I was like, well, you know, it was just something. No. No, that woke me up. That woke me up. And then, then, and then have to have to see a child watch that, a two-year-old. Oh, no. I got the fuck up out of that shit. And I was alone for quite some time. Okay? But I wasn't lonely. I wasn't lonely. I was learning myself. I was happy. I started getting a routine in. You can do it too, loves. You can be very confident in where you're going. You do not have to take anybody's bullshit ass behavior towards you or mistreatment towards you because you want somebody to make you don't want to be lonely you know you need somebody to fill a spot in the bed you like i said in the mirror look at yourself be with that person make sure you're with that person 24 7 okay be there for that person it's important I don't think temporary happiness is something that people want to deal with these days. I think they think they want that. But then again, just like I said, you end up wiping snot all off, off your face, all off, off your body. You're crying. You're hurting. How dare you let this person in again? You feel, you feel, you know, you feel, you feel, you feel like you're taken apart all over again, like pieces. And some people see pieces, you know. It's good because you get to dissect yourself. No, baby, how many times do you have to do that with this one person? That's your twin. Your twin. Come on. Come on. Self-discovery. Self-awareness. Know who you are and love who you are. That's been your reading, my dear collective. I hope that you had a great time listening to this. I hope that some of you could understand what I was saying. Those that need that receive the message and are taking parts with you on the with taking parts with you that resonated. I appreciate it. Those of you that are leaving that just doesn't resonate with you, then that's okay too. But just always know, just smile loves you to the moon and back. Always have, always will. Y'all been my day ones. A lot of you have been my day ones. A lot of you were just joining. A lot of you just decided not to join. And it's okay. I still love you the same. May peace be with you and God be with you. I love you all so much. Mwah. Bye for now, loves.